Next up, I'd like to introduce nurse practitioner Jackie Anderson. Just for the record, I'm not a nurse practitioner. I don't want to misrepresent myself. I am a labor and delivery nurse, and I have also worked in abortion care for the last decade. I'm going to briefly, and those of you who know me, I'm not usually brief, but I promise I will be. Um, medical privacy is entangled with Roe v. Wade. Your medical decisions are no one's business but you and your physician. By taking away Roe v. Wade, they are stripping you of medical privacy. Yes, we still have HIPAA protections, but unfortunately, those can only take us so far. Court orders, subpoenas, uh, discovery, all of those things can override HIPAA, which I don't think a lot of people understand. So if law enforcement thinks that a woman in Texas has had an abortion or even a spontaneous miscarriage, they can subpoena her doctor's records. And that's fucking bullshit. I wept today, and not for the women of Rhode Island, because I, although it is not an equal access, uh, until we passed the EACA, which I did sit and speak to <laughs> those separate uh, representatives as well. Um, I wept for the women in states with trigger laws. I wept for the people who will be unable to access abortion. Wealthy women will always be able to access abortion in any state. I don't know what else to say except that I wish that I could say that I'm glad to be here and I'm not, I'm pissed. I'm sad. This is a disgraceful day in our country's history where we have turned the clocks back 50 years. Embarrassing is exactly right. I hope all of you get out, vote. I know it's not much, but it's the least that we can do. And please talk to your representatives about uh, passing the EACA now. Thank you so much.